we can like do somewhere library. Um, I know it's been a long time. I'm sorry. Uh, life kind of got in the way. I a ton of stuff have happened. Uh, I started to look in for a new job because I wanted to change and my name is not it. Uh, so far, I love it. It's amazing. And uh, that takes a lot of time. And then also, um, you know, um, like puppets. Yeah. So I didn't find the time to do YouTube, Instagram, blog, and all that stuff. So I had to take some stuff away, take a break. I have all the time to come back to Instagram. Uh, I have been like posting on and off uh, for a long time and now I think I found I found the recipe to to be able to do everything I want as I want it. So yeah, let's let's do it. So uh, that said, um, in quarantine this is gonna be quite easy because you know it's not like I can go out. <laughs> With when when quarantine is done, uh, I shall figure out the schedule but I wanna be yeah, still writing for vlog, still filming for YouTube, and still taking pictures for Instagram as well as working full time, and you know having a social life, which it, we are all now realizing how important that is, right? Uh, and yeah, on September, breaking news, I'm starting to study a new bachelor because I'm master things like that, and I'm gonna start studying law. I'm super excited about it, but that's a tale for another time, and no worry about the timing. And switches I would have uh, that's for another time so yeah let's go into the actual video without further ado so I thought the best possible comeback was a vlog that I'm currently filming but I real I like well while I was shooting that I remember how much I really like to film and I like felt the need to do it ASAP and I decided to do a book pool for the books I got on March and I, um, I don't know if you have been following the blog, but I have a blog post uh, that I will link down below in the future address. The blog translates, so uh, it's written in Spanish, but if you click on the translate thing, you can read it in English uh, with no problem. So uh, I write a whole blog post saying my um, challenges for the 20, for 2020, and uh, my plan was to not to buy a book, a new book, unless I have read five books or I have finished the series. So it was like a very good reward system to, to make me read my TBR. And you know, this month uh, I completely failed at my own challenge. So yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna apologize because I mean, how am I gonna tell you to buy this, right? So yeah, let's go into all the books I got. It's gonna make us all happier. <laughs> First book I got this month was Chain of Gold by the one and only Cassandra Care. I was super excited about this book. I pre-ordered it back, I think it was September. And um, I did it because I heard that the books that uh, the first edition had, um, I don't know where it is, but it had a story about Will and Tess's wedding. And I was super, super excited about it. And uh, I couldn't stop myself from, from here, pre-ordering it. Pre -ordering it. Um, in fact, I'm currently reading it. I'm on chapter 7, I think. I am not liking the book at all. I don't care about the characters, don't care about the plot. Uh, it's boring. <laughs> I know it's an unpopular opinion, but it's, it's the truth. Um, when I'm done with it, like properly done with it, uh, maybe at the end of this weekend, we shall see how that goes, I would like do proper review. But I think I'm gonna be one of those people with an unpopular opinion about this book. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. Uh, next book I got, uh, I was super excited when I finished Skyward, even though I've been saying over Instagram and the blog that I was kind of disappointed by that book. Uh, that being said, I was disappointed because there was so much hype about the, around that book, and I was expecting a first book in a sci-fi series as good as Red Rising, for instance. And the book is good, but it's not as good as I was expecting. Uh, so yeah, the hype did that to me. I ended up giving the book 4 out of 5 stars, so it was a great book, uh, by no means, that means I didn't like it or anything, I mean I gave it 4 stars like I said, and as soon as I finished the book, I went ahead and bought uh, Star Side by Brandon Sanderson, uh, I'm super excited about reading this one, see how things go, in the first book we follow Spencer who has been living her whole life with Big Water Tower, 
because of something her dad did when she was quite young and um, stuff happened she went to pilot school with a lot of trouble and really much looking forward to see how things go forward in the story on this next next installment I'm kind of sad of reading this one because I think to recall the next book in the story doesn't come out up until 2021 so I will have to wait for it but yeah it's it's okay I'll, I handle I think I have enough books to read in a bit time uh, I also bought um, The Library of Limbrim by A.G. Hathaway. I probably have butchered her name. I'm really sorry if so. Um, this one was the Books and Books Book Club pick for the month of March. And I just finished it last night actually. Uh, it was awesome. Uh, funny story about this book, I went to try to buy it on Ramos in Spain. Uh, they only uh, ship it through the story. That like book depository is awesome, but it took it took a long time to to ship it here, and I needed the book for the book club because uh, what we originally did was to read um, like a quarter of the book each week. So um, went ahead to Amazon UK, found the edition I actually wanted because the other edition, uh, which is what the one the one of was in book depository, is not the one that I like the most. We got this one, which I really like with the even over here on the face. And, Awesome. Anyway, anyway, um, I got this one. I read it. Uh, I've like, uh, I would say not more detail about this one on the wrap up, but it's awesome. It's about a library that's placed on hell. It's Hell's library, and it's a library that's contains all the rain books in the world, which means that there are books that authors never finish writing, and um, the librarian and her helper. Have to go to her to retrieve a character that escaped from his book and then things get complicated and angels get in the way and um, something like the um uh, bible comes in in the way and it's, it's, it's awesome it's a really really good book by yeah, so, yeah that one too yeah And then the last two books I'm holding today came out yesterday. They were both uh, recommendations from friends and yeah, I went ahead and picked them both up. So first one is Old, Walk Old Walkers by Fiona Shaw. This one is a dystopia. Uh, or it's, it must be sci-fi or something like that. I just saw it, the cover was amazing. Uh, read them, yes I know, six, um, quite like over. And then when it came yesterday, I re read it. And near future England, a country under lockdown. Very appropriate for the time, right? The government tracks everyone, so yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna be reading this one ASAP, but yeah, I'm quite excited about that one too. And finally, um, the last book I bought is non fiction recommended by, by my friend Ben. Um, we were talking about how we both like non fiction and how we love uh, to learn about stuff. And she told me that a brief history of everyone who ever lived by Adam Rutherford was quite good, was one of her favorites. She studied in biology and uh, she told me to do this one on the So I went ahead and yeah, I told my friend. I didn't know what the book is about, but the cover with the home um, family tree is awesome. It has come back to and basically it said this is a story about you. It's it is a story of who you are and how you came to be. It is unique to you as it's to each of the same field of modern humans who have ever grown up there. But it's also a collective story because in every one of our genomes we carry the history of our species, fear, death, disease, war, famine, migration, and a lot of sex. Okay, so that's what the book is about. So <laughs> I'm quite uh, excited to read it. I don't think I will be reading it next month, but uh, it's gonna come soon. So those were all the books I got in March. I'm super excited to read them all. Uh, maybe this one not so much, but we shall see how that goes. So yes, uh, let me know what books have you got in March, what books are you excited, and we shall talk in the comment section. Bye bye!